Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the Windows Store error code 0x80072EFD. Now I've made a lot of tutorials about resetting the Windows Store in the past, but I thought I'd make another brief tutorial addressing this error and a couple different ways you can maybe hopefully resolve it. So we're going to just jump right into it. So we're going to start by left clicking on the start button to open it up. And then we're going to type in services. It should be listed right above desktop app. So you want to left click on that to open it up. So now underneath services, the first one we're going to be looking for is background intelligent transfer service. So I'm going to actually expand the view a little bit by dragging the bottom corner of the screen. And now there should be something pretty close depending on how your list is sorted. Usually it'll be A to Z. There should be something that says background intelligent transfer service. You want to double click on it to open it up. You want to set the startup type to automatic delayed start and then you want to make sure you apply and OK. My setting is already automatic but let's say it was manual. All I'd have to do is just click on this box to expand the drop down menu select automatic and then parentheses delayed start and then I would click on apply and OK. The next one I would do would be for the COM plus event system right here. Double click on it. You want to make sure the startup type is set to automatic. Same procedure we used for the previous one if it's set to manual, disabled or automatic or automatic delayed and you want to go down to Windows Update near the bottom of this list right here and you want to double click on it underneath startup type you want to set it to manual or automatic doesn't really matter you just want to make sure it's not disabled and then underneath remote procedure call so we're actually going to scroll back up here I guess you could do this as your third one you don't have to go to Windows Update as your fourth I mean you can kind of change around the order the order doesn't really matter here but you want to go to remote procedure call and you want to make sure the startup type is set to automatic which it is in my case if it was disabled it would not be grayed out and you would have the option to enable it so now that that has been done what I'd recommend doing is closing out of the services window and now I'd recommend going back to the start menu and you want to open it up and you want to type in control panel right below control panel it should say desktop app you want to left click on it once to open it up you want to go and left click on network and internet and then you want to left click on network and sharing center so now you want to select your network adapter and most people will probably be wireless it happens to be in my case I'm using an Ethernet connection so I'm going to just select this you notice that when you hover over it there's a hyperlink so it'll open up a new page you want to click on it once to open it up and then once you've done that you want to left click on the properties button right down here and now you want to left click on internet protocol version 4 TCP forward slash IPv4 and now you want to left click on the properties button right here you want to select to use the following DNS server address I'd recommend using Google DNS that's the one we're going to be changing it to it's completely safe we're going to select preferred DNS server to 8 and then using our mouse cursor we're going to select the next area 8 and then we're going to do a third 8 and then a fourth 8 you don't want to have all the 8's right next to each other like that you want to make sure they're all separate and then the alternate DNS server you want to set it to 8.8.4.4 it's very important it appears like how it does on my screen right here if it does not you will not be able to connect to the internet so I just want to make that pretty clear you can always go back to obtain DNS server address automatically if you did it wrong but I'd recommend you just check it by clicking on this validate settings upon exit which I'm not going to do for this video I don't need to do it because we're not going to be exploring this any further than that for at least for this tutorial 
So I'm just going to cancel out of it, but I recommend you guys click on OK. And like I said, there was a Google DNS server, completely free, and it's pretty secure as well. So then for the third option, we want to go back and open up the Start menu, type in Control Panel again. Should say Desktop App right underneath, just like before. Want to left click to open it up. Go underneath Network and Internet once again. And now you want to left click on Internet Options. And now you want to select the Connections tab. Should be the third one from the far right side. And then you want to left click on this button that says LAN Settings. You want to make sure it's set to automatically detect settings. So if anything else is checked, so if it says user proxy server, you want to uncheck that and set automatically detect settings. Please note this will disable your proxy server if you're using a proxy, which most people probably don't use, especially if you're coming across this video. If you are using a proxy, you might not be able to get away without doing this step, but I'd recommend that you guys just automatically detect settings in general. So click on OK and then close out of the Internet Properties window. And then at this point, I recommend closing out of this window. I would also would recommend finally restarting your computer and hopefully the error message has gone away. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and as always thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.